yourself while traveling for such an extended period? Uh, you mean uh, financial? Financial. Um, yeah, uh, when I had an idea to do uh, travel, okay, first of all, this travel is also my art project. Uh, I'm working on a, a topic which is uh, what makes people feel home. Um, I got inspired with that topic uh, in Georgia and I started working with that and uh, I thought that traveling would be the perfect opportunity to observe myself and different cultures about it. Yeah, so uh, I started doing that project uh, before I had an idea of traveling. And when I had an idea about traveling, I started saving money uh, by selling airport that's how I live usually. So uh, I decided to go, but after it's like uh, I knew that it would be different on the uh, my budget, how far and how long I would be able to go. But I decided to go anyways. So I started saving the money and then I started to uh, find the connection. And fortunately, I found uh, someone found me and I suggested my project to that person. Um, so that's an art foundation and we had kind of agreements that uh, they wanted me to do an exhibition at their place, their um, exhibition uh, gallery, where now we'll go back final exhibition. And uh, instead uh, they would help me financial, but it's not uh, full um, support, it's not even help, but it's very uh, useful. So yeah, I uh, put those all budget together and I guess it's a roll. Do you have any plans for the next destination in your mind? Mm, no, not much. It's again financial things, so I cannot go forward so far. Uh, and maybe I will be it's a road on the way back to Georgia. It still takes a couple of months, maybe half year, I don't know. Yeah, but how will I go back? I, I don't know. Maybe it's directly to Iran. How was your experience in Pakistan so far? It's great. It's very intense though. Like, uh, the less I can say, no, it's, it's not chill. <laughs> it, it's not very calm. Like, as uh, different as other countries like Balkan for example but it is very beautiful and the people are very hospitality and sweet so uh, you never feel alone because you always find a new friends and yeah so far I have not really mm, been alone like uh, if you won't count on the like driving on the road I was going from one destination to another and staying there for a couple of days at least. And yeah, it's very good and people love the guests here and it feels very, I don't know, everybody is very welcoming. What challenges have you faced while traveling for such a many, have you traveled in many countries as you travel? So how challenges have you faced in many um, Actually, in the different countries, there might be different uh, challenges uh, as it is like cultural uh, difference. So, first couple of weeks, it's always uh, kind of hard. Uh, you know, I need to observe like what is okay to do, what is not okay to do, what what specific uh, nature do people have there, or nature has by itself. So it was, I don't know, beginning uh, of the little issues like, for example, in Bulgaria, people, uh, gesticulation is different. Like people say no like this <laughs> and say yes like this. So beginning from this kind of little details, uh, end of, I, I don't know, sometimes, yeah, sometimes you might do something that people uh, find it rude, but it's not rude in your culture. So it makes you feel excused. How has your traveling across different countries like Turkey, Greece, Iran and Pakistan? What's your perspective um, on this world and its cultures? Um, 
their culture is uh, different. Like uh, it gets the Pakistan so far is a uh, um, less known country for me. Like it's the most special and different country I have ever been. Uh, because I have been around, I have been to Europe, but not in uh, East uh, East Asia. So, yeah, it's it's more um, exotic for me. And difference is that, uh, for example, in in Balkans, um, in Greece, in uh, Macedonia, or, you know, Albania, Bulgaria, they they are more uh, less. Not less welcoming, they are very welcoming, but it's a different from uh, the east side, like uh, Iran and Pakistan, because uh, for them the tourists are not, um, and travelers are not a new thing, and they face uh, foreigners like very often, so they, they don't care it, and you have very like personal space here, but uh, sometimes you might feel lonely because of that. But the east side of the world, there's uh, because traveling is not that usual, and people are very surprised and very happy to see foreigners. So it gives you less personal space, but it gives you more connection with the local people, and you have more opportunity to get to know the culture. So there's that kind of difference, but now uh, no, nothing negative, I would say. But. Like in other countries, there is some issues, but uh, nothing particular. At the end, I would like you to please uh, share any advice to our audience. Uh, the people who want to start traveling? You mean? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, like this travel for me, like I have always wanted to uh, start traveling and since a since childhood. But now uh, this kind of travel uh, sounded un unbelievable because my like the first issue everybody like uh, everyone I meet uh, they want to travel they say that they want to travel but the first issue they say it's uh, mostly the financial or uh, physical but I had the same thought that it would be very expensive or it would be uh, very hard for me to get to know new things or something but um, it's not that hard. I mean, the living cost when you travel, first of all, is uh, quite the same. Like, if you travel without the car, especially, like, it's even cheaper than living on the same place and pay bills and stuff. Uh, yeah, and basically, like, you find uh, the diff you face the difficulties when you live on the same place as well. Like, when you're living in, a, in your hometown all the time, you have different stress. All the thing is that this type of stress is changing, but the feelings are quite the same. So if anybody wants to travel, like first uh, advice is to decide that they really want to travel and not keep it just an idea that oh, it would be nice to travel or something. So after they will decide that they want to travel, they will find a way to do it. Thank you so much, sir, for being with us and for your inspiration and for sharing your information with us. Thank you Thanks so much. Thanks for your interview.